What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more fighting. Make sure you guys head over to www.boxingego.com. I just pinned a new article uh, regarding this topic, so I'm going to keep the video short. If you want to see all of my complete thoughts, you can check out the article, but I just kind of want to paraphrase and talk about it. So it looks like UFC 197 has its two stars, Conor McGregor and Holly Holm. Their bouts at the moment have not been confirmed, but a lot of the industry's insiders are saying that Conor McGregor is going to move up to lightweight to fight Rafael, Rafael Dos Anjos, and Holly Holm will be fighting Misha Tate. So, again, it's not 100% at the moment. Um, from what I heard, the contracts have not been signed, so that could be the reason for the delay and no official release. But if this is, in fact, true, this is a hell of a card. This is a blockbuster epic card, and I'm going to break it down in this particular video why. One, Conor McGregor is a rock star. He is coming off of the best win of his career. He took a Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist in Jose Aldo. He trash-talked the whole duration, the whole way up, and he made good with that trash talk by knocking Aldo out in 13 seconds. Then you had Holly Holm, who arguably had fighting's biggest upset. Now, if you're a real fan of fighting, it might not have been that big of a upset, but I'm just talking about how much energy and effort the UFC and Hollywood put into Ronda Rousey saying she's the Terminator, she's unbeatable, and things of that nature. So with all things considered, it was a big upset. People didn't expect Ronda Rousey to lose. If you know the sport and you know the boxing probably would give Ronda Rousey some trouble, but previously Ronda Rousey had been destroying people. Now you look at Rafael Dos Anjos. He just went in there and had a rematch with a guy who was ESPN's Fighter of the Year nominee, and that was Donald Cowboy Cerrone, and he just dismantled him. He dominated from bell to finish, like from start to finish. He destroyed him, and he showed you that I'm a champion. He just fought Pettis, got the belt. He showed you I'm, I'm here to stay. I'm a legit champion. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real problem, and it wasn't a fluke what happened in the first fight, and he did that by beating Cowboy even easier in the rematch. And Cowboy was on an eight-win streak. They had the UFC embedded where he was doing some trash talk, calling them Frankenstein, said he was going to knock the bolts out of his neck, and he couldn't do none of that. So, again, this is a great fight card if it does, in fact, happen just like this because three of the stars on the main event and the co-main event are coming off of first or second round destructive knockouts against great people. Holly Holm, Ronda Rousey, second round knockout. Rafael Dos Anjos, he destroyed Cowboy Cerrone. And then Conor McGregor he has the fastest title fight knockout in UFC history, if I'm not mistaken, against Jose Aldo with 13 seconds. First real punch that he connected with, Jose was lights out. So, um, again, props to Dana White. Now, this is not a bo I'm a longtime boxing fan. I always put boxing, this is me personally, always put boxing over UFC, but I do cover it. My fan base is growing, and people want to hear just the different combat sports as well. So I try to cover some of the big fights and the big fight news, and I'm a sports fan. So boxing is my first love, and it's always going to be that way. But I do give credit to the UFC because they make some damn good, meaningful fights when they need to happen. The fans want it. Um, like I said, this is a big risk for Conor McGregor, moving up to a new division. Now, I know he probably has some struggles because he's big, so he probably struggles a little bit to make featherweight. But still, I mean, first fight, you know what I mean? You're a champion at featherweight. You could probably just kill yourself to make weight, fight some guys, other guys, smaller guys, and then move up. But to move up and fight a guy like Dos Anjos, it just shows you the pedigree of Conor McGregor. I really like the dude. And again, I like how the UFC, they don't pussyfoot around and, and they're making these great matches and they're doing it when it happens and i told people for as far as holly home misha tate that's a good fight too because i don't even want truthfully me i don't even want to see holly home versus ronda rousey too right off the bat i think that's stupid i think that's career suicide because if ronda rousey loses especially in that type of fashion even if she loses but especially if she gets knocked out then her career is in shambles so i think that's dana white made the right call with that in not putting Ronda Rousey right back into the fire. I mean, that was a brutal knockout. She got dominated both rounds. She couldn't close distance. I mean, she was so fatigued that she threw a punch and spun herself around and then took a knee and got back up. I mean, she, 
It was ugly. And then she got kicked in the damn head and all these memes made about her. Let her build her confidence back up. Because for me as a fight fan, I don't even want to see it right off the bat. Because I want to see it where Ronda Rousey maybe got some more confidence back and um, worked some things out. I don't, I don't want to see it because I would pick the same type of outcome. Um, maybe a little bit more competitive. So I think Dana White did the, the right thing by making a Misha Tate fight um, and let the Holly Holm, Ronda Rousey two simmer and build up a little bit more while Ronda Rousey gets some things situated. It really works on her stand-up game. But great card, UFC 197. It looks like it'll go down in Vegas. It was initially supposed to be in Brazil, but um, I think Vegas is the ticket. Let me know what you guys think. I will keep you guys updated. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.